going on guys? Noah from Kicking the Grass TV and I know you guys know I'm a big, huge fan of GoPros. I love GoPros, love everything about them um, and I was really psyched about getting this new GoPro Hero 4 Session. Um, when I got my hands on it, I was really psyched um, and I can't really wait to use it. The only reason I haven't used it is because I wanted to make this video and pretty much show you guys of it in the box and everything and where I haven't opened it yet. So I'm pretty much going to go on my opinion, what I think about the GoPro Hero 4 Session and um, pretty much why you should get it um, compared to the Hero 4 and um, pretty much some of the specs about it. So what I saw pretty neat about the GoPro Hero 4 Session is um, one thing is pretty small. You know, um, it's pretty small and it's a different shape, you know, something different. All the GoPros have looked pretty similar um, and this one is just pretty much new and different and it's pretty cool. When you see something cool like that, um, it really changes the different thing in the product. I mean, they've had regular heroes all the way up to the Hero 4 and they've all been the same. So to have something new and cool is pretty neat. It also has pretty much, it's pretty much going to be similar to the silver and black editions of your Hero 4s or your Hero 3s. Um, the audio quality is going to be a little bit better. Quality is going to be a little bit better, but overall it's going to be around the same. It has the Wi-Fi, built-in Wi-Fi. Um, you can connect it through Bluetooth, or it's going to connect through Wi-Fi to your phone. Um, connect it to the remote that it comes with as well. Um, but one of my favorite things about this camera is it's pretty lightweight. Um, and for the reason being, as you guys know, I have filmed some with it being on my hat. It's pretty cool if you can put that on your hat. It's a little bit smaller profile. You know, it can fit on your hat. It's going to be a little bit more lightweight because you don't want it bogging your hat down, bogging your bill down. Um, you, can, you can always wear it on your chest for the chest mount, um, the chesty mount. It's really lightweight, really small. Also, one of the really coolest things about the GoPro Hero 4 Session is it can be submerged in the, up to 33 foot of water. So, um, pretty much going to be waterproof. So, if you want to put it underwater, you can. You don't have to worry about it um, all the way up to 33 feet. Um, also, one of the coolest things um, and really high quality things about the GoPro Hero 4 Session is it has two built in mics has one in the front and one in the rear. So it's gonna pick up that really great high audio quality that you really want. Sam on the lake fishing and there's a lot of wind and everything, it's gonna try to cancel that out a little bit. And it does have two mics, so it's gonna pick up almost everything so you can get the high quality um, without using like a lapel mic. So pretty much, um, I would definitely go check out the Hero 4 session. Um, if you're wanting a new GoPro and you want something a little bit different, definitely go for it guys. Um, this one's retailing for around $399, which I mean is pretty close to the other GoPros, so, so why not pay a little bit more money and get the best thing out right now. Um, so in my opinion, I really like the GoPro. I guess I'm, the only thing I have to do now is pretty much take it out of the box, go test on the water, and I'm sure I'll be having more videos comparing this to the regular GoPro Hero 4, Hero 3, and um, pretty much showing the quality and everything with it and also the audio quality so if you guys enjoyed this video please give the video a thumbs up if you found it informative please give the video a thumbs up also if you have any questions please leave a comment below and if you want to go see some vlogs and everything check the links in my bio see you guys next time